Today, uh, we continue to look at the Matthew chapter 2, verse 1 through uh, verse 6. Uh, subject, where is the Christos Jesus begotten? Number 7. So far, uh, we study Christos Jesus is born Bethlehem, Judea. Uh, let's go to the uh, Matthew chapter 2, verse 1. Matthew chapter 2, verse 1. Now after Jesus was born in Bethlehem of Judea in the days of Herod the king, behold, wise men from east came to Jerusalem. So Bethlehem is the bread of house, house of bread, house of war. And then Judea, meaning hoping the emergence of existence. So Christos Jesus, Jesus means existence of salvation. So, existence of salvation is born Bethlehem, house of bread, house of war. In order to eat bread, living bread, Christos Jesus, we have to go through the war. Bread war, right? Bread war. And then, the, by eating the bread, that is the hoping the emergence of existence to become the existence of salvation. That name is the Jesus. So, I, as the Bethlehem of Judea, Judea, Christos Jesus, is born inside me. New knowledge born inside me. And then, in order to Christos, in order for the Christos Jesus is born, it start from the location of East. East is the meeting place. East is the gate of the Garden of Eden. Those are the ones we learned so far until the sixth sermon. So, why is living from East living? Why he came from the East living to meet personally face to face Christos Jesus? Into Kierosolima. Uh, English pronunciation is the Jerusalem. Jerusalem. But uh, Greek pronunciation is the Kierosolima. I put here Hierosolima, Greek word, that is the Yerushalayim, the Hebrew word. The meaning of Yerushalayim is the teaching of peace. Let's go to look at the, uh, the word Yerushalayim. As you look at here, Hierosolima, teaching of peace. Uh, in the Greek word, it shows the, it used as the two different Hierosolima. As you see here, one is the neural noun. The, the gender in the uh, Greek, there is a three gender, masculine, feminine, and neural. The gender is the role of the noun. So here, Solima, which is the neural noun, is the mediator role. And then mediator role is the delivering the message role. So teaching of peace is the delivering the peace. Right? Teaching by delivering the word of God. But this here also remember neural noun is shown in the New Testament act, chapter 1, verse 4. But it is not singular in number. It is the plural in number. It is plural form. But people who only understand the Bible in English, then it only says singular, which means Jerusalem. In order for the translator put the plural form, they have to put what? Jerusalem. They have to put S in it. But it doesn't make sense for the translator to put S because there is only one location in the Jerusalem, in geographical location, right? That's why Bible should not understand as the history book. Bible is the spiritual book. Why? Because God is a spirit, isn't it? When we go to the John chapter 4, verse 24, 25, right? God is a spirit. So entire Bible is a spiritual book. That's why Bible using many persons' name. Bible using the many locations. Bible using the many different number, like 144,666. Also, Jesus crucified. Six hour to ninth hour, right? Then why Bible writer? Why God ordered to the prophet to write 
many different people's name, different number, and different location. Those are all set up and placed to give us the intention of God, to show us the will of God. So whoever understands the God's meaning, God's message, then spiritual understanding, then I am the one who calls as the man of God, isn't it? That's why when we go to the second Timothy, it's showing like this. 2 Timothy 3.16 All scripture is given by inspiration of God. But when we look at the inspiration of God, Greek word is the Theo Pneustos. Theos is the God. Now, Pneustos is the adjective of Pneuma. So, Theo Pneustos is God's spirit, spiritual God. That's why all scripture, entire Bible is talking about spiritual God, God's spirit. And then understand the God's spirit in spiritual way that is profitable for doctrine, for reproof, for correction, for instruction in righteousness. That the man of God may be complete. That's why today is a Jerusalem. When you go to the Shalom, Shalom is to be at peace, complete. Man of God is the one who becomes the Jerusalem. Also, who is able to teach in the peace. Who is also delivering the message of God. Neural, plural, hero, solima. They are the one who become the Last Adam, right? Based upon the 4 Corinthians chapter 15, verse 45. Last Adam is the life-giving spirit. And that's why also when we go to the uh, Revelation chapter 21, verse 2, they're talking about New Jerusalem, right? New Jerusalem is the last Adam, who become one with Christos Jesus. So, 2 Timothy 3, 17, talking the man of God may be complete. Complete Jerusalem, thoroughly equipped for every good work. Thoroughly equipped. Let's look at the thoroughly equipped. You see here? Exaltido, exaltido. Uh, let's go look at the dictionary, 1822. 1822. You see here? Exaltido is what? Equipped fully, A what? Teacher. Man of God is the teacher. Teacher is the man of God. Who is able to deliver in the message of God? There is the God's spirit. Spiritual God is the last set of life-giving spirit. That's why man of God is the teacher who is able to do the every good work. What kind of work are we talking? Delivering the message of God. So, from that person who hearing the word of God, Christos Jesus is born, crucifixion is happened together, and then resurrection, and in the presence of God, he also becomes the man of God. That is the good work, isn't it? That's why about the work, we went to the Genesis chapter 2, verse 2, right? On the seventh day, God ended his work. That work is the Melaka, right? Let's go look at the dictionary, 4399. Hebrew 43.99, Melaka is the word that is the same as 43.97. 43.97 is a messenger. Messenger is the teacher. Ambassador, messenger, king. Teacher. So, man of God is the messenger. Man of God is the teacher. Man of God is the last Adam. Man of God is the new Jerusalem who is delivering the teaching of peace. Who is able to do the Good work, as we learned last Sunday, Anatole, Entole, which is Entole is the in Telos, Telos is the Christ, Telos is the conclusion, who is able to, loving the God, loving the neighbor, isn't it? Those are starting from the East, East, start from the East living, the purpose is into. Then what is the in into means? I put it in here, in, in two, 
when you see over here, to or into indicate a goal or a direction of movement, as well as a place of arrival, right? So you have to arrive here to Lima, Jerusalem. You are moving into the teaching of peace. So then Jerusalem, when we go to the Hebrew word, it is the dual form. The dual means in number in the Hebrew is the cognition. Understand what is the truth teaching of peace? What is the truthful peace? What is the truth of the God? We have to have that cognition. That's why Hebrew, Jerusalem, Jerusalem. And then, Aramaic word is so, Jerusalem, Jerusalem. And then, Jerusalem and Jerusalem is the compound word. As I put it in here, Yara, 3384, and then 7999, Shalom. Yara is a verb to flow, to teach. Uh, one of the examples, we can go to the Exodus 24-12. Exodus 24, 12. Then the Lord said to Moses, Come up to me on the mountain. So, Jehovah God is called Moses to coming up on the mountain and be there. And I will give you a tablet of stone, the law and the commandment. If you look at the law, law is the Torah. Torah, which is a Moses law, Torah comes from the same verb, yara, yara, which means teach. So, he went up to the mountain, and the law and the commandment, commandment is the mitzvah, mitzvah is entole, right? We learn in telos, which means east. And I have written that you may teach them. Look at the teach, yara, yara. Whoever able to went up on the mountain. We learn what is the meaning of mountain when we go to the book of Revelation. Mountain is the king, right? Mountain is the head, right? Whoever, had, whoever has the knowledge of God, whoever become the king, who's able to rule his people. Then, kingdom of heaven is the God, king, king, man, based upon the Matthew chapter 22, verse 1, right? Jesus is talking to the parable, right? So, that is the mountain. And then when we go to the Matthew chapter 5, Jesus went up to the mountain. His disciple came into the mountain together. Jesus opened his mouth and started to teach, right? About that one, Matthew chapter 13 talking, you will be given to know mystery of the kingdom of heaven. So all mystery is fully manifested in the mountain by receiving the teaching. Jehovah God is teaching, so Moses is able to teach him. Same thing, Jesus is preaching, teaching, open his mouth on the Matthew chapter 5, 12 disciples who receive the knowledge of the mystery of the kingdom of heaven, they are also able to teach. All scripture is God's spirit, right? So you can become the man of God to do the good work, God's work. That is so, yara, teach, flow. Shalom is so, to be at peace. When you are in peace, that means you are complete. You are fully equipped. About the complete, uh, I would like to go to two different locations in the Bible. One is so, Genesis 14, 18. The Melchizedek, king of Salem. Salem is the peace, right? When we go to the uh, New Testament Hebrew, there it says, king of righteous, king of Shalem. Melchizedek, Melak. We just look at the Melak. Melak is the king, messenger, teacher, ambassador. Jedek is the righteous. So king of righteousness. And also he is the king of Salem, king of peace. Brought up bread and wine. Better Lehem, house of bread. And then the wine, wine. That's why Jesus said, in my flesh, 
drinking my blood. As a priest of God, he was a priest of God, most high. And he blessed him, said, Blessed be Abraham of God, most high, possessor of heaven and earth. And blessed be God, most high, who has delivered your enemy into your hand. So how can I conquer the enemies, the Satan, serpent, the knowledge, earthly knowledge and worldly knowledge? Oh, we have to receive this bread and wine. From where? Melchizedek, king of Salem. So I can become complete. I can become the man of God to do the good work. That is the Shalem. Another place complete to be at peace, Psalm 76 too. Uh, start from one, on stringed instrument, a psalm of Asaph, a song, in Judah God is known, his name is great in Israel, in Salem, in Salem, king of Salem, Melchizedek, the peace, complete, in Salem, is also his tabernacle. Then who become the Salem? Who become the tabernacle of God? Based upon the book of Revelation chapter 21. New Jerusalem, isn't it? Jerusalem, teaching of peace. Peaceful teaching is in Salem, is his tabernacle. I become the tabernacle of God. His dwelling place in Zion. There he broke the arrow of the bow, the shield and the sword of battle. Selah. He broke the arrow of the bow. Whose arrow of the bow? The serpent and Satan. When we go to the New Testament, Ephesians, right? And for armor of God, for armor of God, we have to put it on, right? Those are the Yara Shalam, which is to teach to be at peace. How can I become peaceful man? How can I become peace? By receiving the teaching of God. By understanding the truth of God. That is the cognition process. Yerushalayim, dual form. Aramaic word is the Jerusalem. About the Jerusalem, New Testament Galatians chapter 4 is talking about two different Jerusalem, isn't it? Let's go look at the Galatians chapter 4, verse 24. Verse 24, uh, we start from the verse 22. It is written that Abraham has two sons. We know Abraham has the Ishmael and Isaac, right? The one by a bondwoman, the other by a free woman. He who was a free woman, a bondwoman, was born according to the flesh. That's why when we go to the New Testament Bible, John chapter 6, uh, verse 63, flesh profit, nothing. The spirit and the life is the what? The word. The word that I speak to you are spirit and the life. Jesus is speaking about that. So, according to the flesh, bond woman was born, that is the Ishmael. And he a free woman through promise. Then I was correcting this word, right? Promise is the Epangelia. Epangelia, epi, connect. Angelia is the message. Connected message. You are receiving the connected message when you go to the act chapter 1 verse 4, neural plural, Jerusalem, which is the Jerusalem plural form. Then you receive the teaching of peace at that time by receiving the Holy Spirit and fire baptism. So, there is the you are born from the free woman. Which things are symbolic? The story of Abraham is what? Spiritual meaning. Apostle Paul is explained here. For these are the two covenants. So two sons are two covenants. One from Mount Sinai, which talking about the Moses we just look at from the Exodus, right? That's why when we go to the New Testament, Acts chapter 7, verse 38. 
We are in the church in the wilderness, Mount Sinai, which is my church life starting on the fourth day, number four. That is, we are receiving the Moses law, which gives birth to bondage, which is Hagar. That's why when we coming up all the way up, they're talking about bondage, right? I say that the heir, as long as he's a child, does not differ at all from a slave. Though he is master of all, but is under guardians and stewards until the time appointed by the father, even so we, when we were children, were in bondage under the elements of the world. That is what? Mount Sinai. We are born from the bondwoman, right? But when the fullness of the time had come, God sent forth his son, born of a woman, born under the law. Because you are son, God has sent forth the spirit of his son into your heart. That is what? Born from, not the promise, connected message, that is the free woman, right? That's why I go back to uh, on the bottom here. Same thing here says, for this Hagar is the mountain Sinai in Arabia, which is my fourth day church, corresponding to Jerusalem. So we are under the Moses law, under the gardens and stores, under the elements of the world, earthly and worldly knowledge that we understand the Bible not as the spiritual book, not as the spiritual God, but as the history book. But, but as the morality book, in many different ways, that is what? We still in the mountain Sinai correspondent to this Jerusalemism. That is talking about one day through seven days process, fourth and fifth day in my life, which now is. And they are the bondage with her children. But the Jerusalem above is free, which is the mother of us all. So here talking about Jerusalem, Mount Sinai, which existing right now under the guardians and store, under a bond woman, under all elements of the world. Before Christos Jesus is born inside me in spiritual processing. Then we have to transform this Jerusalem above, isn't it? Right? How can we transform from this Jerusalem now is to become a Jerusalem of all. How can we transform bondage status to become the free? Through what? Crucifixion, isn't it? Crucifixion. Before we look at that, let's go to the Jerusalem now it is. Ezekiel chapter 9. Yehovah God called out in my hearing with a loud voice saying, Let those who have charge over the city draw near each with a deadly weapon in his hand, suddenly six men came from the direction of upper gate, which faced north, each with his better axe in his hand. One man was clothed with a linen, had a rider's ink on. And then we coming down. The Lord said, Go through the midst of the city. Through the midst of what? Jerusalem. Jerusalem, fifth day church. They are teaching the still teaching of peace, but that is not really peace, isn't it? Right? And put a mark on the forehead of the man who sigh and cry over all the abominations that are done within it. You see here? That are done within it. In Jerusalem, in center of Jerusalem, in the middle of the Jerusalem. Fifth day teaching of peace, bond woman. Mount Sinai, Jerusalem, correspondent to Jerusalem, which now it is, you have to what? Sigh and cry. You are looking for, searching for the truth of the God. Understand the entire Bible as the God's spirit, spiritual processing, God's intention towards to my life. So, Bible becomes the book of life. But mystery is still Mystery kingdom of God still closed, hidden, then I am the living blind man. That's why Jesus talked to the Pharisee, blinds leads the blind, right? So we are try we need to sigh and cry over all the abomination 
they are doing in the middle of the Jerusalem. So go back to our uh, desktop. Two different Jerusalem is talking, right? That's why when we go to the Matthew 23, 3, the Jerusalem on the earth. Uh, start from one, though Jesus spoke to the multitude and his disciples. The scribes and Pharisees sitting in the Moses seat. They are in the mountain Sinai. Corresponded to Jerusalem, now it is. Who's teaching the fake peace? Therefore, whatever they tell you to observe, observe and do, because they are talking from the Bible verses. But do not do according to their works. Because they are using the Bible verses, they are making the man's work, not the God's work, which means understand the God's commandment as the man's lessons, right? That's what he's talking about when we go to the 16.6. Let's go to the Matthew 16.6. Jesus said to them, Take heed and beware of the liver of heresy and the Sadducee. They reasoned among themselves, saying, It is because we have taken no bread. You see, Bethlehem, how so bread, right? What kind of bread are we talking? Here, even 12 disciples understanding the bread as the physical bread, isn't it? So Jesus was born in 2023 years ago, Bethlehem. That is what then? That is the belief of those for them deep day Christian, isn't it? Taking no bread. And then Jesus being aware, he said to them, Oh, you of little faith, why do you reason among yourself? Because you have brought no bread. When we coming down, 11, how is it you do not understand that I did not speak to you concerning bread, not concerning the physical bread, but to be aware of the living of the Pharisees and Sadducee? Then they understood he did not tell them be aware of the living of bread, but of the doctrine of the Sadducee Pharisee. The doctrine is the, the teaching. Didas Kolos. Didas Kolos. They are teaching. Their teaching of peace is what? About the bread. What bread? The living bread and then the physical bread. Physical bread that doesn't give you eternal life. Then they are still under the bond woman. Mountain Sinai corresponding to Jerusalem. That's why when we go to go back to Matthew 23:37, Jesus speaking in this way. 23:37 in Jerusalem, right? O oh, Jerusalem, Jerusalem, 23. The one kills the prophet and stone those who are sent to, sent to her. Her is the Jerusalem. So why Jew try to stone to Jesus? Because Jesus said, I and my fathers are one, right? Father's working, my working is the same. And then I am doing the God's work. And then you are God's. And then they try to stone because of that, right? Everybody, Nari Dari, right? You are gods. When we become the word of the God, right? When we become the man of God, when we become the children of God, when we become the new Jerusalem, we are able to teach in the peace. Who are the peace? Christos Jesus himself is the peace, right? But this fifth day Jerusalem is the one who kills the prophet and stone those who are sent to Jerusalem? How often I warn to gather your children together. As a hen gathers her chicks under her wings, but you are not willing. See, your house is left to you desolate. For I say to you, you shall see me no more, till you say, Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Until you understand the meaning of Jesus. Until you understand the bone of Jesus, crucifixion of Jesus, resurrection of Jesus, presence of Jesus. Until you understand that his life, his way, that becomes my way, my life. Then you desolate. You are the one who crucified Jesus. That's why 
in order to transform from the fifth day Jerusalem, we have to learn. We have to receive the teaching from Christos Jesus. Let's go to look at the Matthew 11:28. Come to me, all you who labor and are heavy laden. Who give you heavy laden based upon Matthew 23? The teaching of Paris is out of sea, right? I will give you rest. Take my yoke upon you and learn from me. For I am gentle, lowly in my heart. You will find the rest for your soul. My yoke is easy, my burden is light. Then you need to come to learn from me. Jesus is inviting, right? By learning from Him, once we learn from Him, what's going to be happen? Crucifixion has to be happen, right? You, the old Jerusalem, fifth day Jerusalem, transformed to become the sixth, seventh day Jerusalem, right? Let's go look at the Matthew 27, 51. Crucifixion. 51. Behold, the veil of the temple was torn in two from top to bottom, the earth quaked, and the rocks were split. So, English translate into. Look at the into. You see here? Ace, duo. This is even plural, right? Into, not in. Into. To become one, two. What is the two means? I put it in here. Sheni is the number two. It comes from the Shena. Shena means transform and change. So Christos Jesus crucifixion is what? Fifth day Jerusalem change into the sixth day, seventh day, new Jerusalem, Jerusalem above. There is the crucifixion. Crucifixion is the crucify the flesh, right? When we go to the Hebrew 1020, it's exactly talking about that. Hebrew 10, 20 By new and living way which he consecrated for us through the veil. The veil is what? Split it from top to the bottom, right? Purpose is what? Into two living, right? Transformation living. That is his flesh, right? That's why when we go to the Galatians chapter 5 verse 24 Those who are Christ have crucified. Crucified what? Flesh with its passion and desire. Then we live in the spirit. Let us also walk in the spirit, right? We do not no longer walk in the flesh. The bond woman, Hagar. We are transformed from the mountain Sinai to the mountain of Jerusalem. New Jerusalem. Mountain Zion. That's why when we go to the Romans 6, 6, it's talking the crucifixion in this way. Do you not know that as many of us as were baptized into Christ Jesus were baptized into his death? Crucified flesh, right? Therefore, we were buried with him through baptism into death, just as Christ was raised up from the dead by the glory of the Father. Even so, we also should walk in the newness of life. Unions of life is the in the Holy Spirit, in the God's Spirit, not in the flesh, isn't it? If we have been united together in the likeness of His death, certainly we also shall be in likeness of His resurrection. Knowing this, our old man crucified. So once Christos Jesus is born inside me, Bethlehem of Judea, then Jerusalem, we sigh and cry, the teaching of peace on the fifth day, fourth and fifth day teaching, right? And we crucify flesh and transform to become the new man. So old man crucified with him, the body of sin might be done away with, we should no longer be slaves of sin. We are free. We born of free woman. We are the Isaac, right? 
So through crucifixion, transformation, then we are in the teaching of peace. Let's go to the Ephesians 2.13. But now in Christ Jesus, who once were far off having both near in the blood of Christ, he himself is our peace. Become one with Christos Jesus, which means born of Jesus, crucifixion of Jesus, resurrection of Jesus, presence of Jesus is what processing? Making peace processing, right? He himself is our peace who has made both one, has broken down the middle wall of separation, having abolished in his flesh the inmighty, that is the law of commandment containing ordinances, so as to create in himself one new man, one new man, through transformation, crucified the flesh, and resurrection in spirit, in Christos Jesus. So, there is the Jerusalem above, then Revelation 21, 2. Now I, John, saw the holy city, New Jerusalem, coming down out of heaven from God, so prepare as bride, adorn for her husband. I correct this one, right? Not adorn, right? If you look at the parts in called BPRP, has been adorned. Adon by who? Adon by the husband, Christos Jesus. By receiving the teaching from the Christos Jesus, mouth of Christos Jesus, I am adorned by him to become the new Jerusalem, to become the new heaven and earth, I become the man of God who is able to do the good work. That is the starting point is the Bethlehem house of war and house of bread into to become one into Jerusalem teaching of peace by receiving the teaching from the Christos Jesus by receiving the new knowledge by born by receiving the spirit of his son then I can become the peace I am able to making peace next Sunday we are going to keep on going the rest part.